earthlings? <laughs> oh, I was cleaning out my sink and uh, my faucet sprayer broke and sprayed a bunch of water in my face just a few minutes ago. Anyway, hi everybody. Uh, Adam Savage here in my cave. One of the most popular videos in Tested's history is when I took a, a Nerf foam ball shooter and modified it to shoot a thousand shots. Uh, our normal videos, you know, logged between a couple hundred thousand and a million views here and there. You know, we have some outliers on both regards, uh, but that one went bananas. Like that video went so viral, I noticed my recognition factor on the street increased, like surprisingly. Also with a younger set, actually. I mean, like, the, the, the teenagers are watching the YouTube. Anyway, um, once I did that video, ever since then, we've long thought, boy, it would be really nice if we could, you know, tap into some of that, that Nerf magic again. Uh, and a, a couple years later, I did a, a Reddit Secret Santa where I modified a, a, a Nerf sniper rifle to look really realistic and have some extra features. And that was really fun. And that also did really well. And again... <clears throat> We end up with this thing that happens to everybody who makes content, which is like, well, that content did really well. It'd be really nice if we had some more like that, which is a totally reasonable way to think. Except that <clears throat> you can't force a thing. Like both of those were just projects that were perfect in and of themselves. My interest with them, like, this thing that we do making content for each other, it, you know, it, it does not follow a set path, nor is any part of it really predictable. Uh, so while we've thought, oh, it'd be really nice to have something like that, there's, you know, there's all sorts of different factors. And one of them is just, you know, I, I just haven't felt inspired. That's one of the biggest factors is I've been constantly keeping up with the foam dart space <laughs> uh, and nothing's inspired me until now, um, a foam dart shooter, not Nerf, has come out with a form factor that I find riveting. This. What, 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 what? That's, I, really? Really? So, mm, I've had this for a, a, a week and a half now. And I have not yet even put batteries in it because I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting to shoot this so I could shoot this so we could shoot this. I'm gonna put some batteries in it and try it out right now and we'll see, uh, we'll see what I think. Ah, this is a piece of glass, of tempered glass from an Ikea Billy bookcase of all things. So I've turned this on and I've got a trigger and I'm not afraid to use it. Here we go. Huh. There's something opaque about its operation, or these batteries are dead. That is also possible. It is AAA, yeah, yeah, it is AAA. I'm gonna put these in right. All right, I, I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to read the manual. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't take two double A's, it takes four. I know, read the manual. Right. Ooh. What? What? Whoa. I want you all to stick. So how does this load? Does it just do this? Do you just do... 
I rotate this to there. And then I've reloaded it. I'm, I just, I want it. These are suction cup darts and I want them to stick in the glass I've got. That's kind of part of my plan, but let's see. I love the firing rate of this thing. <laughs> that is satisfying. So, yeah, these are fabulous. We'll include a link to these. Uh, these are called D Dart. D Dart Pro. This is the box it came in. I, I bought it. I bought it. I bought six of them. Reader, why not? Uh, I love the periodicity of this. I love how fast it shoots. And I have ideas. I have some fun ideas. First off, I'm wondering if I put more than six volts into it, I might be able to get it to go faster. Plus, if I power it with something other than double A's, I can also likely get it to go faster. That's first thing. Second thing is, I wanna make a dual shooter. I wanna fire two of these at once. Third thing is, <laughs> third thing, I wanna, Where's the thing? Hold on. Ah! <laughs> Come on, stay there. All right, so this is uh, an airsoft tactical helmet. It's like a fake tactical helmet. Looks great. <clears throat> this is part of the third thing. <clears throat> Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. This is, this, this is, right? This is the shit. Um, yeah. There we go. Uh, so, uh, I am going to look to mount these on here, number one. Yep. Number two, I want to power them so that they have a little more juice. When you when when it spins up and you hear and then you start to fire it and it goes ding, 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 ding. there's a motor driving this outside thing and then there's two motors or one motor here driving these two uh, 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 spinning wheels that shoot the dart. Um, as soon as one motor's under load, the other is going to lose some of its juice, and that's simply because of the amount of angry pixies electrons that the uh, AA batteries put out. But if I give it some more juice, like with a lithium ion battery, I, sh I should be able to get even better firing performance. I want to mount them here. <clears throat> I want to mount them here like this, power them well. And I noticed that they actually do go where you aim them. So I want to make an aiming reticule. Yeah, I want to make an aiming reticule so that... Yeah, I know. This makes me very happy. Okay, <clears throat> so... Let's get to work. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's see about the aiming here. Well, I have more. I have more. I have more. I ask for nothing. <sighs> and you shall have it in abundance. I, I won't see those darts again for a while. Ah, this is what I'm looking for. Output. Uh, I know I could do five volts, but I'd rather do six. Six! There we go. Three amps. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, we're gonna charge you up. We're going to charge you up. Get to the jobber. Gone. 
gone. I leave a little lead on these because I'll use them later. They go with battery holders. So, yeah. I mean, this is the most rational place for me to grab this. The question is, is it strong enough? Actually, let's um, tighten this back up again. Now hold on to it with this. Yeah. That's not bad. No. I mean, look, this is going on my head. I'm like, bang, 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 bang. It's not undergoing a tremendous amount of um, problematic force, which is good. All right, so that's one good thing. Secondly, I need to crack it open and get into that. So there are a lot of uh, moving parts to this, but it's pretty straightforward, yeah. All right, I guess I have to do this whole thing by hand. One. Two. Okay. See, this is what I need. I need this one, right? Okay, let's see if that works. Oh, it's not so bad. One. Two. Three. Six. Oh, wow. That is really neat. That is a neat part. Wow, look at that. That's really lovely. Well, I appreciate this toy for having all identically sized screws. It makes assembly much easier because I can just put them all together. And these two. All right, now I've got those apart. It's time to take these apart. I've got an on switch and a trigger switch and power lines. I have ideas. Excellent. Um, I've been working on soldering and now I actually think given the configurability that I really want, I gotta charge this, keep going, there we go. Um, I've got some uh, quick connector 
connectors here, and I'm gonna try them out. That one can go in there. No, that doesn't help. Let's cut these. Excellent. Great, that one's in. We'll cut these two. And this one goes in here. And that's a nice secure fit. And then this one, that's another positive. All right. So then the second one, now, when I plug this in, it should power up all four of these motors for shooting the darts on a six volt, on the six volt there. And then the 12 volt directly should also power up this light. Uh, so let's uh, plug this in and turn it on in three, two. <laughs> all right, keep charging, keep charging. I need to wire up the triggers. Yes, I like that. Okay. I have my trigger. Um, it is uh, one of these protected switch covers with a spring return toggle on it. And so I'll be, I'll have a handle and I'll hold on to this and I can don't like this, right? I can undo that and pull the trigger and fire the guns. But uh, I want a handle on here. So I've got a, like an inch and a half piece of aluminum. I'm, go I'm going to knurl it. Knurl, not knoll. I'm going to knurl it. K-N-U-R-L. Knurling is the adding of a diamond or grip pattern, diamond or non-diamond. It's, it's the adding of a grip pattern to a cylindrical thing. And there are a lot of different ways to knurl, um, but my favorite way is using what's called a clamp knurler, this thing. So these are hardened wheels, and you can see they have opposing lines on them. And when you clamp down over a piece of aluminum with these and use some cutting oil and go slow, uh, these will imprint a diamond pattern. If you use ones with... Uh, uh, straight lines it'll imbue a, a a ribbed pattern yeah it's really neat and um, this is my favorite knurling tool uh the clamp knurler um this is not a great one this is a cheap one but i'm happy with this so i've just ordered a couple of hemingway kits for building your a really nice clamp knurler um but i'm about to chuck that in the lathe and try it out The knurling went great. Uh, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit.
might be one of my best diamond patterns I've ever done. That, it's a nice diamond pattern. Pretty happy with that. That's a nice trigger. Boop. Pick. Burr, burr. See, right, right, right? Yeah. I have made a little, a little holder. It holds it at this angle, because I like this angle. I like holding onto this and then, mm, 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 right? But I got to hold onto this with some really good grip. So I'm going to toss a little uh, pair of uh, probably 440 screws in there. One there and one there. Yeah, here we go. This is my favorite kind of build. I mean, I have lots of different things I like about different kinds of builds. But this one where it really... Uh, the problem solving is all fairly straightforward. And sometimes straightforward problem solving is the enjoyable kind of problem solving. That's just, that's just the truth. If I test this and I like it, I'm just gonna go with it. So let's get some heat shrink on this equation and get a, um, wire coming out of it. All right, so uh, because this switch is gonna be near aluminum, I'm putting some heat, sorry about that. I'm putting some heat shrink uh, across that for some insulatory, insulate, insul insul insulational. It's insulational. Great. I like that. That goes like that. So then this goes. Excellent. All right. Uh, ooh, uh, uh, uh. Oh, yeah. uh, here's a question for the comments, which is, um, do you guys have a preferred wrench for those nuts on uh, your standard switch, that half inch thing? So that's, this is, <laughs> this is totally the Ocean's Eleven clicker. Yep. Make it armed, fire, fire, fire. Okay, uh, so we're gonna do a test of this system. Oh yeah, 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 I need that, mm -hmm. and then I need to, uh -huh. and then I need, yep. Okay, so the same distance that exists between these two. I'm generally going with heavier wire than exists already because, well, the fatter your wire, the more electrons you can move frankly. You want to learn about how many electrons it takes to make a, to get through a wire? Try, try taking a wire like this, try taking a lightweight wire like this and getting your wiper motor to work. Uh, like a 22 gauge wire on your wiper motor is just not enough electrons to actually make it spin. The voltage might be enough, but can't get enough angry pixies through this stuff. No, that's too much steam. I'm not going to do that. All right. Uh, so now I want to check continuity so that when I hit this, both of these close. That's the goal. So let's get a pair of uh, clip leads on this equation. Hmm? 
There you go. So, uh, when I connect this to that, and I connect this to that, and then I hit the switch. Nope, I should have heard continuity, but I did not. Have I not done this right? Am I a total dummy? All right, I didn't diagram this out. That's one of the big issues here. Oh, let's see. Right. Okay. I did just get my head wrapped around this. Let's get these clip leads out of here because I don't need more wires. Come on, go. Fi, away with you. Oh, go. Nice little micro switch action there. <clears throat> it is time for a systems check. A systems check. This thing's been charging, excellent. So if I plug this in and I turn it on, I should see this go on, I should hear all four of these motors go. Well, I messed up somewhere. I figured it out. I figured it out. I was trying to switch two things with one switch and you can't do that. If I need a double pull, single throw, and I have it, so I'm about to use it. Uh, yeah. I just was not being, yeah, I was just being a little bit dim about it, that's all. Back. Back in, once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. I'll close the wall up with that English deed. Deed. He's dead. She's dead, okay? That's Newt. That's my impression of Newt from Aliens. Mostly. All right. Um, so now I have my switch is activating each circuit separately, which is the smart money. Put this on, yep, and then this. All right. Yep, there's one orientation and that's it. So now, right now, I mean, look, I'm just trying to wire past the normal trigger switch, which is making my job a little dumber because I could pull all this apart and rewire it so that I was able to activate it on a single thing. I'd just be routing power through both of them in parallel. Again, it's not that important, so I just, running a second lead was the fastest way to deal with this. Uh, so let's get some, tin all these wires. I have all these new little jumpers and like heat shrink connectors. I'm just, today I feel like going, today I feel totally in my um, like original soldering, just solder, solder, solder everything, you know? There's just something so positive and straightforward about it. We're back. If I turn this on. Yep. Now I should see these both go. Hey! Hey! 
Hey! Yes! Both are going! Brilliant! I'm a very, very happy man. Very happy man! Time for reassembly. Reassembly. Um, right? Yes, it is time for reassembly. I can put the wiring stuff away. Oh, right. Okay. That's okay. I can deal with that. So I'm not going to put the trigger back on, but the door I should. And the door, right, the door goes like this. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do a little notch on the doors on both sides. Ah, yeah, here's what I wanna do. Do the treble, that's it. Reassembling this stuff can sometimes be a little weird, but we got it. Wait, no, we didn't. Oh, what am I, oh, I see. There we go. Good, good. The one that needs, yeah, there we go, that's the one. And this one. Ooh, there it is. Okay, let's put another one up there and then I should do another. So this is a thing that I like to point out is this is the moment not to skimp on testing. So I'm gonna put a screw in the two critical parts, one in the uh, where the where the door hinge is, and one up at the top, and that is all the structure this needs for testing. But there's nothing worse than assembling something and realizing you've assembled it ever so slightly wrong, and now need to redo it. Um, so, in order to just double check that, I'm going to do a systems check at every level of assembly because you don't want it. Okay, so yeah. Basically, yeah, I'm just gonna do another systems check. Great. And when I pull the trigger, wait, okay, where's the trigger? Here we go. Now I should be able to turn off the motors and still get operation on the triggers. Oh no, that's a master switch, great. Love how that sounds. That's a freaking awesome sound. So that working, let's put in all the rest of the screws. One, two, three. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna do a little painting, mm-hmm.
Do I really, I seriously made this ever so slightly too short. Ha! Ridiculous. Uh, so I just have to extend these both by a little bit, by a little bit. systems check always every time you make a change I like that my machine sounds like almost like a Peter Frampton solo okay so yeah there we go 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 let's bring in front these through there. No. Then this guy goes in. Pops off. And this guy goes in. Pops off. Yeah. All right. Oh! There's nothing worse than assembling something and realizing you've assembled it ever so slightly wrong. Uh, yeah, right. So, yeah. So I have to disconnect all of these and reconnect them all. <laughs> all right, I can't lose track of anything, so here we go. Zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three. Cut, cut, cut. Cut. So much wiring and rewiring. One and two and one and two and three and four and three and four. Great, great, great. That's it. I knew it. I knew it. And that's why I wasn't getting everything to seat correctly. But now, but now, And I find it's always good to assembly line this stuff to assemble all of it like together so you're not yeah I don't know why but really Ooh. All right. so we are doing pretty good The reason I learned to test the whole way down is the number of times I did a final assembly on something and it didn't work and I thought, God, if only I had tested it like 10 minutes ago, I wouldn't be in this dumb position. Yeah. Let's just... Ooh! Amazing.
This is without a doubt one of the stranger things I have ever built. We're almost ready to test fire this. We are ready to test fire this. Here is. Oh, oh yeah. It's like my head is the razor crest. <laughs> oh. I've got a trigger. I'm not afraid to use it. Dude, this is absurd and magnificent. Yes. Mm. Here we go. Uh, powering on. We are hot. We are armed. And we are firing. Oh! Holy shit balls. Oh! <laughs> Dude, dude, I have to watch that. That is so amazing. The best part about that test, I think, <clears throat> is that both darts went to the same place. Like they were like, fum, 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 fum. so, I'm oh, sorry, fum, there. Um, so I'm making an aiming reticule. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, this is so much fun. I'm so excited about this. Let's get this going. Huh. Now I think, yeah, I think that's where it was at. So, uh, right. Ah, yeah, you want <laughs> Bond. James Bond. <laughs> I don't know about you, But I feel great! Ah! I wish these were belt fed. Ooh. Ooh. I'm so happy. <laughs> so now that I have this device, I'm so happy with it, but <clears throat> I don't, I have this issue, right? Because guns are just made to destroy, and I would like to know if I could use this device to do some useful work. And I think I have a couple of ideas. First one is, I think I can turn on this switch, which I'm about to try right now. Here we go. Turning on the light switch. Three, two, one. Ah, <laughs> uh, something else. Gotta do find something else. Got a mess on the table? Maybe this can clear it up. No, 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 no. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Pesky papers on the conference table before a phone call? We can take care of that. Yeah! <laughs> okay, you guys ready for this meeting? Excellent.